everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Gavin. I'm Mimi. I'm Daniel. I'm Aunt Becky. I'm Matt. Hey, Charlie. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. And girls. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, consider subscribing because we can grow a lot of stuff on the farm. But one thing we can't grow is this channel without your help. Welcome back everyone. It's so nice to have you. We've had a lot going on this week on the farm, but probably the biggest thing that I could touch on and what everybody else has been noting is that it has been very, very hot. We're dealing with a little bit of a heat wave here in Northeast Pennsylvania, which is something that we're not used to, but it being this early in the year, it is a little uncommon. We have had temperatures that have been hanging around in the 90s for the past week. Uh, that's been a little bit rough, not only on us, but on the animals. For the most part, the animals have been making it through without any problems, which is something that we're very happy about. And for all of us working here on the farm, it's been kind of the same. Everybody's been making it through. But just because it's hot does not mean the work stops. And we've been doing a lot of work. We're just finishing up with our morning chores. We got all the eggs collected. We got quite a bit. We also got two baskets graded. I think we ended up with 30 dozen of eggs. So that'll be a big help for the farm market. Yesterday we worked on cleaning all these pens for the cattle too. So these pens look really, really nice. And we got all our feeder spaces cleaned out. And just this morning we moved eight more head of cattle into this pen. So it's a little fuller than it was earlier. We're getting ready to move on to our next job, but I wanted to show you what Daniel was up to. For the past two days, he's been working on spreading fertilizer and it's been going relatively well. That's actually the last of what he has to spread. He was mentioning he's very, very happy to be working in a tractor that's got AC today. Uh, if only the job we have next had AC with it, that'd make it so much better. Are you ready to go do some picking? Yeah. Can I get a woohoo? Uh -huh. Yeah. Now our first set of jobs for the day actually brings us out to the fields. We have a few things that need to be picked. And to start off, we're harvesting some kohlrabi. Mm. The best way I could describe what kohlrabi. kohlrabi tastes like. Take a little piece and try it. Kind of like bite. broccoli stem. Have you ever eat the stem of broccoli before? It's good? Yeah. It's pretty good. Hey, how does that taste? Good. Good? Take a bite. Let us see. Mmm. Two thumbs up or one thumbs up? One thumb. <laughs> you want another piece or you're done? done? All right, I'll eat the rest of it. Harvesting kohlrabi can be pretty simple. You just go through, pull out all the kohlrabis that are the size that you need, and then all you do is clip off the root ball. Now, some people will sell them with all the leaves on. We do not do that. We like to pull the leaves off. It doesn't seem that anybody really wants the leaves in our area where we live. So what we'll end up doing is usually leaving the leaves in the field. That way they'll decompose and add more nutrients to the soil. It's something we've been doing for a long time. We think it actually helps a little bit and it just makes the job go a little bit quicker rather than finding something else to do with them. Good job. Want another piece? Okay. Basket. Oh, I hate it when you do that. Show me again. How many do you have? Two. What you eating? We got everything. You eating kohlrabi? Yeah. They're finishing off the last of the kohlrabi. It looks like we're gonna get about a basket and a half. That's plenty for what we need at this moment, but now we're moving on to broccoli. What we're trying to do at this point in the year is only pick what we can sell in that day. So we're not harvesting too much, but as more people start to figure out we got fresh produce, they're gonna be flocking to the farm market. Look at that one. Beautiful. Oh, 
Oh wow, look at this one. That is a nice head of broccoli. Now this broccoli is a variety called Eastern Crown and it is an earlier day variety, so it doesn't get too, too large. But I mean, for what we have here, it looks really, really good. That's some beautiful stuff. Now, because it does get early, much earlier on than some other varieties, it doesn't get as large, but that's okay. We don't need large. We just need broccoli. Trying to keep these stems as long as possible so that we can bunch them back at the farm. You know, we had some broccoli that was just starting to form heads and then we added some water onto it by means of irrigation. And that stuff has just exploded right here next to the irrigation pipe. Look at that one. Gorgeous. Some smaller heads. Look at that. They'll be ready in a few days. Oh, here's a nice one. It's a good thing we're out here getting an early start on this broccoli because as I'm going throughout the field, I'm seeing a lot of broccoli making head, which means we are going to be swamped with broccoli if we don't stay on top of it. That's going to be our goal. Stay on top of broccoli harvest this year. It seems like every broccoli is making a head right now. That one, that one there. That oh, one there, I mean, wherever I go, I'm seeing little broccolis forming. That is a really, really good sign that we will not be complaining about. Now, same thing with the kohlrabi. You're gonna see us just throwing these leaves on the ground. But again, it's just because the leaves act as great fertilizer for the soil, and we don't have a use for them really beyond what they are in the field. We got our kohlrabi all harvested. We got our broccoli picked and we also got some bunches of kale. Now, because we were in the shade, we weren't too worried about getting this stuff picked and letting it sit for now. But because it's so hot, everything that we now harvested, we're gonna take back to the farm after we drop the boys off at where they're gonna be picking next. <laughs> And here's where I drop the boys at. They are gonna get started on sugar snap peas. I'm gonna run this stuff back and then I'm gonna join them. You can see some of the stuff now that it's been irrigated is just blowing up. It is growing so fast. This is one of my favorite times of the year where you can actually see everything growing so fast and everything is growing so beautifully. I got everything brought into the cooler. We're gonna leave it in the cooler for a few minutes before we sell it so that we can get all the heat out of it. But we've got our broccoli, kohlrabi, and our kale. I have now made it out to the field and I'm gonna get started with harvesting peas. The boys have been moving along very quickly. The only thing is Callie stops and asks for peas quite often. So we definitely have to take care of her. Are you happy about the peas? Okay, you put it on that big rock? Okay, no problem. Here you go. You're welcome. As you can see, we're moving through these plants pretty quickly. And we are famous around here for mentioning that this is one of our least favorite jobs on the farm. Some of you may be thinking, why is that? It doesn't seem so bad. And to be honest with you, you're right. It's not that bad. However, this is one of our first major picking jobs of the year and our bodies aren't too used to being bent over. So I'm thinking that's one of the things that leads us to not liking these peas. Also, for whatever reason, it seems to be very, very warm whenever we're harvesting peas. And again, we're not too used to it just yet. 
So these peas are great at conditioning us for the years. Uh, it just, oh. Boy, I tell you what, after a while, it really starts to get frustrating harvesting these things. Again, not that it's difficult, it's just uh, monotonous and you gotta pay close attention because anything that you miss, by the next time you're harvesting, it'll become overripe and you won't be able to pick it. So you gotta focus a lot and you have to be bent over and it's hot and all those things lead to peas being our least favorite thing to harvest. Now it's definitely not our least favorite thing to eat. I will mention that, we all love eating peas. Well, that went rather quickly because we had so much help, but we were able to get two full baskets of sugar snap peas. Don't those look good? Oh my, that's something we love to see. Now we have two other varieties of peas that we raise also. So we have the sugar snap, then we have snow peas and shell peas. For whatever reason, our first planting of shell peas doesn't look too good. It's probably because we didn't get rain at the proper time and we got irrigation on a little bit late. Hopefully as they continue to blossom, they will produce more peas and that'll be something we don't even need to worry about. But for now, the sugar snaps are producing the most. And for me, I would consider that a good thing because I love sugar snap peas. Mm, they are so sweet. Come here, big girl. Boy, this one has been such a trooper. It is so hot. We're gonna get her out of this heat. So everyone, we haven't been telling you about a big problem we've been seeing. Daniel, tell them what you just found over by the zucchini. There's deer tracks. Lots of them. And as you guys know, the deer, they like to give us fits. But even worse than finding, oh, nice nose. But even worse than finding deer, around the zucchini. Dad, tell them where you found deer. In Grammy's red beets. Oh. You guys understand how serious that is, right? If Grammy knows there's deer in her red beets, Callie, what's Grammy gonna do if she finds deer in her red beets? No. She doesn't even wanna talk about it. It's that crazy. But anyway, speaking of crazy, we're all gonna be crazy if we don't get out of this heat. So we're heading back to the farm. Now that we are all back at the farm, we can finally cool off. But I have a few things I wanna mention, especially about the peas. What we're gonna be doing is harvesting peas basically every day for the next three or four weeks. And the reason for that is because we try and keep everything as fresh as possible. We only pick for what we need basically for that day that we're picking. So these peas here, that's gonna be for today, and then we'll be out picking again tomorrow. And by doing that, it encourages the customers to come back often because they know that they're getting a very, very, very fresh product and uh, they don't have to worry about losing it for the next three or four weeks. That's another reason why I think peas get stale after a little bit because it's the only thing we're really picking and it can take quite a while to pick all the peas. Now, as the shell peas become ready and the snow peas become ready, that's where we spend a bulk of our time. Again, just wanna mention, not complaining about it because we love it and that's our job. You know, harvesting produce is our job, so we're gonna do that. But it's just one of those things that really starts to wear on you after a while. But you know what? It gets a lot of people into the farm market. It gives us a lot of income and it makes everybody in the local area really excited for all the produce that's up and coming. Oh, it feels so nice here. Oh, so, so nice. So let's see what we have in here that is ours. Currently the peas, broccoli, we have lettuce, kohlrabi, kale, and I don't think there's anything else. I'm trying to think. No, I think that's it. But the fact that we have all that stuff right now is a big deal for us. And from what I've been hearing, a lot of the local customers are super, super excited about it. That just makes me so happy. And let's see what we are having for lunch. Oh, we're having hoagies. Oh boy, what a beautiful day. So for the afternoon, our main goal is gonna be staying out of the heat today, which, <laughs> yeah, that's nice. That's nice to have that for a change. Uh, something I will mention, Daniel is gonna be spreading fertilizer, but that's gonna be just in the tractor. We had originally thought that we were gonna be done spreading fertilizer. However, we didn't have enough fertilizer to cover the acreage that we needed to, so Daniel's out picking up more. Besides that, we don't have too much more tractor work to be done, so it's gonna be mostly helping out here at the farm market and doing anything that needs to be done. checking out the corn and seeing how it's growing. This stuff that we have here is looking really, really nice. 
even though Callie is on the younger side, we try and help appreciate that it's important to go and look at the crops. I think she just likes going for a ride. However, when she's older, she'll appreciate this because it's something that's fun to do, but it's also important. Do you see this field right here, Callie? Yeah. This is what bread is made out of. It's called wheat. Is it called wheat? Yep, it's a wheat. Now it's starting to turn golden brown, so that means it's almost ready to pick. But you see the little heads at the top? We're waiting for those to fold over like boop. We're waiting for them to look kind of sad. We want them to go boop. And that's how we'll know they're ready to harvest. Isn't that cool? Yeah. We're almost there. It's looking really, really beautiful. You see how it's a, that nice golden color? As you all can see, I am back out in the pea field, but this time it's for a different reason. I was thinking about what I wanted to have with dinner tonight. Lauren and I are having steak and potatoes, and I thought peas would be a nice addition to that. I don't think Lauren and I are going to need this many, but if Callie finds out I have peas, she's probably going to be eating them. This is one of the big time benefits to living so close to a vegetable farm. Ooh, always fresh veggies. <laughs> but anyway, now I have what I want. I just got to head home and Start cooking dinner. There you go. <laughs> so here we have got Lauren's plate. We got some steak. We got some potatoes and some fresh picked peas on there. Woo, time for dinner. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Veggie Boys. My name's Andrew and we've got a new person recording today. It's Callie. She's the new camera person. How do you feel about that? Being the new camera person, Callie? I feel better. <laughs> Good. What do you want me to say? And girls. And girls. Daddy. <laughs> yep. This looking great. I'm looking great. And girls. And girls. And girls. Welcome to the farm. This is a stable life. <laughs> yeah, very good. We have reached that time of the day. We just got finished with dinner and we're hanging out. We got the two babies over here laying down. We got Callie with me. And uh, yeah, we have reached the end of the day. So this is the end of the video. Thank you everyone for being here. We appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye babies. Bye.